Hi guys and welcome back to Lifting Vault and today I want to talk about something interesting involving the deadlift world record that was recently broken. Of course there is also the fact that Danny was not a super heavyweight but unlike the holder of the previous record he broke the record in a full meet which means he also squatted and benched before he broke the deadlift world record which makes it that much more impressive. But before we get into the results of that, let's have a look at a record that Benedict Magnusson was able to set more than a decade ago. Benedict set one of the longest standing records in powerlifting back in 2011, when he was 27 years old. And he did this in a deadlift only meet where he pulled 460.4 kilo. And for the years that followed that he was widely considered as the best deadlifter of all time. So unsurprisingly it was also one of the longest standing records. Until Danny Grigsby came. Danny started off the meet with a 275 kilo squat, which even though it was his last attempt looked like an empty bar and it is far from his PR. But because he was dealing with a hip shift and quad injuries, he kept it very conservative. And overall this meet was a big surprise for him, because Danny was a lot stronger than he expected. On bench he set a 7.5 kilo PR with a 200 kilo bench and finally he came to his deadlift world record of 465 kilo which also looked like he had more in the tank. So overall the future is looking very bright for Danny. Thanks for watching everyone, that was it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. And today's subscriber highlight is Walker, and he was able to deadlift 202.5 kilo at a body weight of 86 kg. If you enjoy watching this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out one of the suggested videos displayed on the screen right now.